Niiden UFO. In the astrophysics laboratory of X, there are the collected results of interviews of a UFO. This program has been made based on those intellectual discussions so that you too could feel what it feels like to meet a UFO. Is there life on Earth? Not in its ordinary form, but it is true that certain characteristics of the organisms on Earth interest the inquiring mind. Is there life on other planets? Certainly yes, even though not at all in every place and not always of the same kind. How would you define life? An organism which is integrally part of a bigger planetary organism system which has the task of protecting those organisms and which brings the meaningfulness in their lives in addition to the living requirements of the organism. How would you describe the organisms found on Earth? Us. Your species used to be a form of life. Now it's broken. It will not survive long. And the catastrophes causing its disappearance will have disastrous consequences for much of the rest of what there is now left of the life on Earth. It will probably take a long time for it to recover. What's the primary characteristics? characteristic of life. It is the securing of the future for its kind via alliances with others, in other words, universal love. What's your reaction to the present situation on Earth? The human overpopulation and the development of technology before the means to guide it have been fully developed are both dangerous to the organisms on Earth and to the broken hole that they form. Such lacking, lacking planning skills must be seen as a serious defect which should be dropped away. At earlier stages of the evolution, those who went solely with growing teeth were dropped away by the, the lack of paying attention to the other sides of life. Now the hole is in danger. Those who started going astray should have been killed right away. Love does not mean losing compassion for those who are not present here or to the future generations to come. So life on earth is broken since it did not prevent this and it did not repair the planning skills of those who lacked foresight. Shouldn't you, the healthy ones, cause? Yes, that's what I'm here for. You alone is one enough. If you do not listen to one, your reason listens to no one, and so you all deserve to die away, leaving a healthier and a happier world. How are you going to grow us? I talk to you about the basics of life, about the need to secure the future, about the interdependence of all life, of your dependence on the nature environment and not on tools, about the need to think holistically and to feel to be a fully functioning individual and a fully functioning group. Think if you would meet someone from the future, from an age frame when all or at least most of the present day problems were already solved. Maybe then you could understand what these thoughts are about.